Hello everyone, I'm Monica Pearson and I'm here to read a story to you today. It's called Behind the Little Red Door. Can you touch a color? It's written by Coy Bowles. This book is all about color and color is all around us. Like I have on blue today. What color are you wearing today? Behind the Little Red Door. Can you touch a color? Knock, knock, knock. One, two, three, little red door. It's me, me, me. I have a question and the answer I'd love to discover. This might seem weird, but can you touch a color? Well, hello, what do you know? This is a question we can surely explore. Let's take a trip behind the little red door. Bring your friends and let's go see. I'll say the magic words, bing, bang, poof. Can you touch a color? Come with me. So you need to bring your friends and let's say the magic word, bing, bang, poof, and go behind the door. So we'll go with him. We are on a quest to see if we can touch a color. This is a special quest, a quest like no other. So you have to dress for a quest, right? So they put on their favorite clothes to go behind the red door and see if they can touch a color. We love purple, pink, and blue. Let's ride the slide and see where the colors take us to. I love purple. I love pink. I love blue. So they've gone behind the red door and they've taken this slide that slides them through. And the little boy here says, I love purple. There he is, see him, see him. And then the little girl says, I love pink. And then the other little boy says, I love blue, but you know, boys can love pink and girls can love blue. I got on blue today. I love blue. That's my favorite color. But back to the story. Oh, they're behind the door and now they're discovering colors. And the first color they discover is purple. <gasps> Look. There are purple grapes, purple rocks, and even a purple flower. I'll bet purple feels squishy and velvety like a towel. Ooh, a towel for the shower. <laughs> and look on this side. He's playing a guitar. I'll bet purple is awesome, like an electric guitar. And when I play it, Proud, I feel like a rock star. Woohoo! Oh, our next color. It's our little girl. My turn, my turn. I see pink in so many places. There are pink flamingos, pink pigs, and pink cotton candy for our faces. Ooh. And then the red door says, I think pink would feel soft and sweet. Like bubbles that lift you off your feet. Wow, this ocean is so beautiful and blue. When I splish and splash, it feels cool, clean, and new. One, two, my favorite color's blue. Three, four, flippers on a door, yes. So his favorite color is blue and he's wearing flippers in the ocean. And so is the red door. Oh, the next color is green. I'll bet green feels slick and slimy like the frog that's hopping right beside me. See the frog right there? That's the frog. And then she goes on and says, look at the grass, it's green as well. It feels like my hair when it's spiked with gel. I'll bet that big red rose feels super smooth and silky, 
like strawberry ice cream on your tongue that's sweet and cold and milky. Red reminds me of people when they get mad. Hey, 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 don't judge a door by its color. I'm Red, and I'm the best friend you've ever had. So here we're looking at red and the different colors of red. We've got red as a rose, red for strawberry. And he says red is a sign of anger, but the door says, oh no, I'm red and I'm the best friend you've ever had. Hey, he's right. There's even color on us guys. It's on our hair, our body, our clothes, and eyes. We love all the colors, whether they're the same or different than the others. What about you, little red door? Do you like being red? I'm with you guys. I love who I am from my toes to my head. So, did we figure out if we can touch a color? I feel like I can, but it's up to you. What do I know? I'm a red door whose favorite color is blue. The red door's favorite color is blue. Do you think you can touch a color? Red Door says it's up to you and that his favorite color is blue. <sighs> so they go out the door and what happens next? Wow, what an adventure. And look, the rain has gone away. Now we see the beauty of the colors that surround us every day. Look, there's an orange butterfly and a fluffy orange cat. Let's go jump in the puddles and make them splitter splat. See the orange butterfly and look at the orange cat. It's got a drop of rain on it. And they have decided that they want to go play in the rain puddles and go splitter splat. The yellow sun feels so warm and snug. Ooh, look at them as they're having so much fun. And the sun is such a bright yellow and it's making them feel so, so warm. Like in the summertime when the sun's out a lot and you get really hot. The sun is warm and it makes you feel snug. Like someone you love when they give you a hug. Oh. And here's a picture of all three of our adventuresome people and all of their friends in the city who are on Peachtree Street and Peachtree Street saying hello to everyone, enjoying the rain and giving hugs. And that is the end. The end all in color. Can you name the colors? <gasps> what color is that? Right, red. What color is that? Good green. What color is that? Blue. And that's purple. <gasps> and what color is this? Yellow. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed the story. It was fun. Can you touch a color? Have a great day.